Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm your personal psychedelic neuroscientist, Dr. Manesh Gurn, and today I'm going to give you a detailed rundown of what really happens during psychedelic therapy. There's a lot of buzz around psychedelics these days, but what's often missing is a clear explanation on what psychedelic therapy really is and how it's different from more casual use. In this video, I'm going to break down the entire process step by step and explain why it's so important to approach psychedelics in a safe, structured way when used for therapeutic purposes. So let's say you made the decision to try psychedelic therapy and you enroll in a clinical study or work with a licensed practitioner in a place where it's currently legal, like Oregon in the United States or at a retreat center in Jamaica. The first thing that will happen is a screening process. You'll meet with a healthcare professional, usually a psychiatrist, who will first assess whether you're a good candidate. This is critical because psychedelics aren't suitable for everyone. Certain mental health conditions, like a personal or family history of schizophrenia or bipolar disorder, carry significant risks. If you make it past the screening, the first phase of psychedelic therapy is preparation. During this stage, you'll have one or more sessions with your therapist to lay the groundwork for the experience. You will talk about your mental health history, set intentions for the session, and begin what's called psychoeducation, where your therapist explains to you what you can expect with the psychedelic experience and provides you with psychological tools on how to best navigate it safely and effectively. This phase is essential for helping you clarify your goals and prepares you for any challenging emotions and memories that might come up, and they often do. A critical part of this phase is developing what's called therapeutic rapport with your therapist or guide. This means coming to a shared understanding of what your intentions and goals are, how you might approach achieving them, and what each of your roles are in the process. Therapeutic rapport has been found in the studies to be a critical component of how much better people get after psychedelic therapy. Having strong therapeutic rapport also entails that a caring and non-judgmental relationship is created where you will feel safe leaning into raw and vulnerable emotions during your experience. Preparation usually consists of around one to three hour long sessions that happen over a course of a couple of weeks or so before your experience. And as you might expect, after preparation comes the dosing session. You'll come into a carefully curated environment, typically a quiet, comfortable living room-like room where you'll take the psychedelic. And this part of the process is all about optimizing set and setting. It's here that psychedelic therapy really stands apart from most casual use. Now your set is your mindset, which is how you're feeling mentally and emotionally going into the session, as well as the beliefs, expectations, and intentions you're bringing in, as was discussed during preparation. And the setting is the physical space around you, which is in this case designed to be extremely calming, safe, and secure. So unlike a festival or party setting where things can get a little bit chaotic, here everything is carefully curated and optimized for a safe, secure, supportive, therapeutic experience. During the session, one or two therapists or guides will be with you the entire time, and typically they take what's called the non-directive approach. This means that rather than actively trying to control or direct your journey, they're just there to provide reassurance, support, and guidance when needed. During the session, you'll likely be asked to lie down and wear an eye mask, and we will be given a curated music playlist to listen to over headphones. And overall, you'll be encouraged to keep your eyes closed and go inward, and to surrender and flow with wherever the experience takes you. Studies have found that the more you accept and surrender and go deeper into the experience, the more therapeutic it can be. And this, of course, can be really challenging and emotionally difficult. And this is why all the preparation and relationship building is so important and why it's also really important you feel extremely safe and secure. After the dosing session comes one of the most important steps that we can't neglect, and that's integration. You don't just leave the session and go on with your life as usual. Instead, you'll have follow-up meetings with your therapist to process and make sense of what happened and to make a concrete action plan. I cover psychedelic integration in detail in my video entitled From Trip to Triumph. But in brief, integration involves a process of making sense of the memories, thoughts, emotions, and visions that you might have had and figuring out how they might relate to your life as well as the intentions that you went in with. This process might involve talking through challenging emotions and reflecting on new perspectives you might have gained, 
and your therapist will help you work through any lingering questions and guide you in turning the experience into meaningful, long-lasting changes in your life. Integration often includes practices like journaling, meditation, breath work, and prioritizing time in nature, all of which can help you ground and process what you've experienced. Since this is really important, to support you in this, I've actually created a free integration cheat sheet with suggested practices and journal prompts that you can find in the description below. Without integration, your psychedelic experience could just fade into memory as a profound peak experience that didn't really lead to any lasting change. This happens all the time. Now, before I end, let's take a step back and look at why all these phases are so important. Because psychedelics are not just about having a profound experience, it's about moving through things in your psyche in a safe and effective way. Psychedelic therapy is designed to ensure that you are supported in every step of the way. Throughout the process, you have a trained professional guiding you, and this helps mitigate psychological risks associated with overwhelming emotions, anxiety, or the resurfacing of trauma. And it's so essential that the therapist provides a safe container for the experience. In casual or recreational use, where there's no therapeutic structure or guidance, the risks are naturally much higher and people can find themselves in distressing or even dangerous situations. I talk all about this in my video on psychedelic pitfalls, entitled How Not to Trip Out. Remember, most if not all bad trips happen when challenging emotional material comes up in the absence of feeling safe or ready to process and explore it. All right, so that's what happens behind the scenes of psychedelic therapy. It's a structured, intentional process that prioritizes safety and support from preparation and the dosing session to the integration afterwards. Psychedelics are extremely powerful tools, but only when used in the right way and with the right support and direction. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with somebody curious about psychedelic therapy, and hit that subscribe button for more insights into how psychedelics are transforming mental health. This has been your personal psychedelic neuroscientist, Manesh Gurn, and I'll catch you next time.